open your mind to the way, the conscious way, the way of conscious mindfulness. Hey, see everybody here once again, and a welcome to the way of conscious mindfulness. Now, we've had a few technical difficulties, but hopefully you should uh, see us now. Uh, yes, uh, Princess Princess Jewel is there. I can see you already, Princess. So you're you're the first one to to join on. So that's great to see. So before we start, uh, and shared, uh, good girl. Thank you very much. So before we start, who am I, and what's this show all about? Well, my name is Sifu Boggy. Sifu means muse, guide, somebody who points you along the way. Now, I don't personally like calling myself a master, but I have practiced what I do for the last 36 years. Uh, and what is it I do? Well, I help others uh, energize themselves and heal themselves through techniques like uh, reflexology, uh, acupressure, qigong, uh, uh, Dash, Dragon Dog, Shaman Reiki, and many other things. And the two main practices that I do are the Barefoot Doctor, which is somebody who helps others by, by teaching them to heal themselves, as well as healing them themselves. And also the Dragon Dog Shaman, which is sort of like a, a scientific magician, because for them, magic is purely science, not yet understood. So... What is the show all about? Well, the show is The Way of Conscious Mindfulness, a weekly uh, podcast and uh, Facebook Live show discussing spirituality and science, balancing health and well-being with mind, body and spirit with a Taoist twist. What does the Tao mean? Well, the Tao means the way, the path, the balance. Now, surprise, surprise, this isn't a normal talk show. Each week, each show, we either have a subject or a guest. Tonight, we have a very cool guest, and our aim is to have an open discussion. Learning new skills, learning new techniques to balance our very own personal Tao way or path. So, without further ado, I'll press this button, and I'll welcome on Ray. Good evening, Ray. How are you doing? Not too bad. Finally, glad we finally got the uh, technical side ish sorted out. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's there's this weird thing, this weird thing with servers and and this system is that sometimes so, some things will work fine and and apparently Windows it doesn't like Windows apparently now. Oh wow. Uh, so, but 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 we we now know we now know it's all it's all good it's all good and good. It is. So. Um, yeah, so to right, so because of that, I'm just having to uh, just do a few things in a different way because I slightly had to make it up. Beginning, so the show is the way of Ray Cannon. Um, so Ray, what? Look, I'll ask you the the question. The uh, the question. Uh, my my famous question that I ask a lot. So this is the way of Ray. Ray Cannell. So Ray, what is your Tao? What is your personal way? Um, I think my Tao in this life is to help as many people as I can to become who they are really meant to be. Uh, to become the highest self of themselves and raise their vibrations to create kind of like a ripple effect um, that lifts others and the planet to unconditional love. Um, I mean, at this stage um, on my journey, I'm called to help women at crossroads in their life, uh, heal their past, create their future, transform their presence. They can take control of their destiny in the here and now. If that makes any sense at all yeah i i, I think it, it does to me uh and hopefully it does i mean uh guys you're you're watching the show if you've got any questions uh uh please ask uh also if you if you love the show always share it which is always uh cool especially because we lost all, all the links to the original uh, uh shares but uh it's all good it's all good in the hood so um how did you 
how did you get into this? You know, where did it begin for you? Oh, gosh. Um, well, I've always, as a child, I was always surrounded by uh, tarot cards, um, psychometry, mediumship, and I was taken to spiritual churches by my parents as a kid. Um, so, so it's always around me. Um, I was conscious of it, you know, I used to pick up energies and that, especially in a, uh, we lived in a block of flats, um, new at the time, and there was a basement and the laundry room, and I always picked up little things in there, um, but didn't really take too much notice because it was just natural around me. Um, but then that's kind of like, so that was always there in the background. But as you kind of get into your teenage years and you know things take over boys friends that that kind of thing and then sort of like uh early 20s you know working and and doing bits and pieces and it was always still there in the back um you know I dabbled in uh, tarot cards and runes and I kind of like um because I've always kind of like be paganish and I kind of like went down the Wiccan route and that for a uh, for a while and I've still got that in my in my background um, and I still use use that you know celebrate all the uh, uh, wheels of the year etc hmm. um, and then round about 2000 I started just know little things about angels just kept coming in and at the time it was really difficult to find anything about angels 2000 Diane Cooper Doreen Virtue didn't really exist a lot for angels so to get anything with angels I actually had to sign up to a Christmas catalogue to actually <laughs> get angel ornaments or pictures or stuff because there was nothing there, there were no angel stuff about compared to compared to now and then that kind of like with them coming in kind of took me on a journey um, that I ended up a friend did um, was trained to be a hypnotherapist, wanted to do past life regression, so I became her first person that she tried it on. Um, and I've always sort of like believed in past lives, etc. So that was really interesting where, where that took me. Um, and then I found Angelic Reiki, did that. And then as usual with these things, synchronicity, everything falls in place. I found someone to uh, study hypnosis with. Um, and then obviously I found um, past life regression and then future life progression. And then I've always had meditation. So it's all just sort of like in the last few years, just all sort of like come, come together. And where I've learned these things and I've tried them out, it's kind of like helped me on my journey and got me onto the next step as I've gone along. So mm. that's really kind of like how I got into it. Cool. Um, so what's what's the difference between angelic Reiki to standard Reiki? Standard Reiki? <laughs> yeah, that, that's the question. It's it's very similar. Um, the same symbols are used. The main difference is the attunements, because with the normal Reiki, your side Reiki, Achievements are done from master to teacher to pupil, and it follows the lineage all the way down. And ideally, you need to stay with the same person to get all the achievements. With Angelic Reiki, the achievements are done direct by the angels. So there's no human interference in any way, shape or form, which means if you were to um, say, uh, I, I was to teach Angelic Reiki one and two, if you decided you wanted to go to someone else, you could do three and four practitioners, te master teacher with somebody else because it's all universal from the angels. And when it comes to the healing, I just literally become a bridge between the angels and the person in front of me. So all my consciousness, everything just disappears and the angels come straight into the person and they go to where they think the person needs healing, whether it's physically, mentally, emotionally, this lifetime, past lifetimes, other dimensions, they, they make decisions and I have no say, no control over it. Um, so it's so it's the same symbol, Reiki symbols are used. It's the same sort of like healing energy. It's just that it's all done by the angels with no help from me, apart from 
holding the space and being a bridge. Cool. Uh, we've actually got a uh, question uh, from uh, Princess Jewel, and it says, um, so it can, well, it, it can be distance Reiki, so as yes. in distance healing. Yeah, you can do um, distance healing because all you do is you link with that person energetically, um, and again, you just become a bridge between the person and the angels and the angel energy goes through you, your energy into the into the person you've connected with energy. So, yeah, so you can do it um, distance, distance healing, um, which also is quite good on animals as well, because obviously a lot of animals won't sit still. And, and that's so, yeah, so you can do it distance. Uh, and the healing doesn't necessarily take place there and then because the intention is always that the healing takes place at the most perfect time for the person. So it could be, I could do it at five o'clock and the person won't actually get the energy or the healing until they go to bed. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's, there's this interesting thing in, uh, in, in energy. Energy, there is no such thing as linear time. No. Um, you know, it's... Uh, it is like as humans we 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 see things as you know a, a piece of string or you know beginning and end but but the the whole thing with how i was always taught that energy and well quantum physics quantum physics that everything's happening all at once so therefore energy everything's happening all at once so you can actually send it to wherever it's it's needed um she's always very very cool um so I'm just seeing if there's any more questions at the moment. Uh, oh, well, again, a recommendation. So, Sonia's saying, I am an angelic Reiki practitioner, up to master, teacher, amazing. So, it is absolutely cool. amazing. And it's nice to see someone else doing it because we really want to get angelic Reiki out there, get people to know about it. Yeah, so I mean, well, where does it originate from? Who who was one of the like? Is is there a founder? Is there a, 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 <laughs> or did it just suddenly magically appear? Um, no, there, there 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 is a founder. Um, it was a gentleman by the name of uh, Kevin Carr, who unfortunately is no longer with us. Um, and he was over the years was guided to um, study angels and all various things. And he started getting um, downloads and guidance from uh, Archangel Metatron, et cetera, um, to create this thing. And then he met his wife, Christine, and their sort of like the male and female energy came together. And it just all sort of like ran back 2005. It all just sort of like started working and, and moving out. Um, so, so that's what that's where it came from. It was it basically came from Archangel Metatron, who described it as the healing of our time. Um, and then, when Kevin uh, sadly uh, passed, Christine has taken over the mantle, and she's doing absolutely wonderful. And she's really promoting it, and it's now in. I think it's now been taught in quite a few countries, and that probably half the world already. That's good. That's good. That's all. That's all good. Um, yeah. Um, obviously, the energy of uh, of Metatron actually. Um, uh, uh, Robbie McKenzie, uh, one of uh, our past past guests. He uh, he deals a lot. He did the uh, Clarion call and uh, the book Clarion call with uh, uh, Metatron and and the whole Metatron cube and the the macabre. So yeah, it's very it's very very cool to get that energy out there. Anyway. Um, and or you don't quite because I had to change the camera view, but uh, I have oh, let's just, let's the best version of it. But I have uh, uh, the old uh, the flower of life, yeah, flower of life, the, uh, which is the female version of the macabre, the Merkaba. So the whole um, there's actually uh, if you have a Metatron's cube. Mm. Uh, which is 64 pyramids uh it's shadow when you shine it if it I have it as a metal frame and you shine a light for it the the flower of life is actually seen so they uh they're both like the yin and the yang the male the female of each other so uh, yeah the the whole uh, uh metatron's energy is uh very very cool indeed yeah. um so the so so our, our so your subtitle of the show is the uh Tra transforming your presence so what do we mean by this what is well 
ba basically, um, the way I sort of like to see things is that we need to be in the present. Um, the past is something we can learn from. The future is something we can create. Um, but to but to heal the past and create the future, we need to be in the present because the present is 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 everything. You know, it's great to be alive at this time to be here doing doing whatever whatever you're doing. And if you can transform your present to that point where you actually enjoy being here, you enjoy your life, you enjoy what you're doing, you can see your journey, then I think that's that helps a lot of a lot of people. Um, so so when so when I say healing the past, you know, obviously I use past life regression, um, ancestral stuff to actually clear and heal the past, to get rid of all that stuff so that you can live in your present without those issues coming back and then by taking you into the future to see your future whether it's five ten years or a next lifetime you see how wonderful it is or what you've done and then you bring that back to your present time so your present so you basically transform your present into what uh, you're supposed to be doing uh you know what your purpose in life really is cool um and um like i read in your bio it also says about uh, you use the angelic cards as well so uh, uh, i take it the angelic cards are 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 they like signposts to help you know uh, help point you towards the right information um yes and no uh, i mean the way i use angel cards um and i really tend to use them more after i've done angelic reiki on somebody but the way I always do cards is I always ask, what does the person need for their highest good at this moment in time? So I don't predict the future or the past. Basically, the card, what I ask for the cards is what that person needs to know here and now. And quite often the cards will come out. And before I've said anything, the client actually knows because everyone knows when the cards come out, that person is like that person already knew that. It's just they needed um, validation from the cards that, yeah, this is what I should be doing at this moment in time. So that's kind of like how I use the cards as more of a validation of what they should be doing at this moment in their lives. Cool. Cool. Um, and so 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 with the so with the angelic uh, Reiki, obviously, they're technically there are or especially if you look at the cards there are many different angels so are there different are the 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 angels are there different energies you use for different things can you you know focus on one one angel one angel's energy for for you know a particular thing or a particular person no um and and that again is the beauty of it because when i connect um to the angel person that asked for the most perfect angel for that person at that time sometimes it'll be an archangel that comes through sometimes it'll just be a normal angel um you, you know that, that comes through for that particular thing and then once you're doing the healing i might suddenly have um archangel metatron come in or i might have mother mary come in i'm have ascended master come in i don't know and i i recognize the change in their energy um but i don't call them in specifically it's whatever angel archangel that person needs at the time are the ones that come in so it's quite cool that you don't have to go right i need to call in michael for this i need to call in something for, for for that and again the thing with the archangels is yes they all in a human minds have kind of like specific things like Michael for protection, Shamiel for love, but they also have slightly different nuances, um, which is why if you were to read Diane Cooper's interpretation of Archangel Michael or Carl Gray's one or Doreen Virtue when she was doing it, there's slightly different twists on it because that is how the archangel has come through to them mm. and it's come through to them in different ways because different people resonate with the different people and the way it comes across so they're the yeah. same 
but they're different. Yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. It's like like trying to describe strawberry ice cream. You know, it's <laughs> it tastes you know, whatever it tastes to you is what it tastes to you. But you know, it's 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 and and you know, people taste different things even within the same flavor. So yeah, yeah. it's a. Uh, I get that. It's very, very cool. Um, so we we've had um so Princess is saying uh uh nice info, great. Um mm-hmm. uh Sonia, Sonia also saying they know best as in, they as do. in the angels. So you know, it's a, yeah, yeah, we, you we know, can't right. argue with them. Well you can try, but it won't help. <laughs> no, it won't work. <laughs> So, um, I, I, I'll, I'll put you on the spot here a, li- a little bit. Uh, okay. Princess, Princess then all has also said, "Oh, I just lost it." Again. Um, so, Princess has said, uh, "Is there is there going to be a short demonstration or meditation uh, on this show?" So, is that a bit you just? I can do a very short guided meditation to meet an aim to meet your archangel if you really want me to do that. Um, but well, I'm I'm happy for you to do that. I like see see the, the whole point about these shows. Everyone's different, you know. Technically, firstly, it's your show, it's your freaking show, so you can do what you want. Um, and and secondly, uh, you know, I quite like you know the fact you know I've had. Well, uh, uh, you know, I've had me- uh, media on the show, and we, you know, some of the shows are more talky, you know, and, you know, it, it, it's up to you. It's it's your show. I'm I'm quite happy to do a guided meditation. Um, I like the sound of my own voice, so so that so there you go. <laughs> well, that's funny. I like the sound of your voice as well, so it's all good. <laughs> and we've got my cat come to join us as well. So oh, push cats! I love push cats. Yeah, so I've always been I've always been a dog man, but I I, I always seem to be around cats. So uh, uh, cat cats. So uh, uh, there's an old saying with like dogs and cats. You say call a dog, it comes running. Call a cat, it says leave a message. You know, <laughs> cat, cat cats. If they come to you, then then you're honoured. You know, is they you know you're they 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 say yes yes. You know, I will I will want to spend time yeah. with you. So very much cat energy yeah so uh, okay that, that'd be you, you know when you're ready that'd be quite cool to do a, a a meditation okay then so first things first is close your eyes and as you close your eyes take a deep breath in and on the out breath just let go of anything that doesn't need to be in this space at this time and with every in breath just allow yourself to relax and every out breath, just let go and give yourself permission to totally relax and just let your breath become a natural breath. And now just see, feel, imagine or know a beautiful golden light, a beautiful golden light of warmth, protection and relaxation just coming down into the top of your head, feeling every single part of you physically, mentally and emotionally. And just allow that golden light to move into every single cell of your body. And now that beautiful golden light moves into your whole head, just relaxing your temples and your eyes your jaw as it moves down into your neck and relaxes your neck moving down into your shoulders and your shoulders still so relaxed like warm sunshine as this beautiful relaxing energy moves further down your arms into your elbows your lower arms your wrists your hands and your fingers so heavy and relaxed as this beautiful golden light moves into your chest area you feel your chest relaxing your stomach relaxing your back totally relaxing your whole spine vertebrae by vertebrae relaxing as this beautiful golden light moves down into your pelvis, your hips, your buttocks, your thighs, your knees, so relaxed. Moving down into your calves, your shins, your ankles, 
your feet and your toes and you feel so relaxed. And now I want you to see, feel, imagine or know yourself standing at the top of the beautiful staircase. A beautiful staircase with 10 wide safe steps going down, leading down to a place of safety and relaxation for you. And in a moment, we're going to step off and go down from 10 to 1 to this beautiful place that will look, see or feel any way you wish, real or imaginary. So if we're ready now, take a step down 10, step down 9, going deeper down 8, deeper down 7, deeper down 6, feeling so relaxed, so safe, deeper down 5, deeper down 4, deeper down 3, three so relax now deeper down two all the way down one and now take that final step off and you find yourself in a place of safety and relaxation and it can see feel imagine anything you wish real or imaginary it's just yours your beautiful place of safety and relaxation. You just allow yourself to totally feel at home and at ease here. And now in your place of safety and relaxation, just sit down and just allow yourself to relax as you're sitting down. And suddenly you'll feel unconditional love coming in. Beautiful, unconditional love. And you notice that there's a beautiful white light coming towards you. And it's just radiating so much unconditional love. And as it gets closer, you notice that there is your guardian angel. Now the guardian angel may come to you as a figure, as energy, as sound, as a smell, or just a knowing. It's your guardian angel who will appear to you in whichever shape or manner that will resonate and you will understand. And as your guardian angel joins you, you find that you can communicate easily with them, either speaking, hearing, just knowing, just sensing. And I'll leave you for a moment with your guardian angel and you can ask its name or any questions and it will answer you. In a moment, it will be time for your guardian angel to just leave you for a while. So if there's any last minute questions you want to ask, then please ask them now. As your angel starts to leave, they will leave you with a gift. It may be something physical, it may be a thought, it may be a sense, it may be a smell. It could be any gift that is suitable for you now, for your highest good. 
and as your guardian angel starts to leave you, you still feel the energy of unconditional love and you know that you can call on them any time you wish. So although the beautiful bright light disappears in the distance, you still feel that unconditional love around you. And now it's time to come back. So I'm going to count you back up the stairs from one to 10. And by the time you get to 10, you will be back fully present and your eyes will be fully open. So coming back up the stairs now, one, back up the stairs, two, coming back up the stairs, three, four, five, coming fully back into your body, fully back into the present, six, seven, eight, wiggle fingers, toes if need be, nine, 10, eyes fully open, wide awake, fully back, and welcome. Hello and welcome. Hello. So, so guys, uh, if you if you partook in in this uh, little meditation, let us know what did you feel. What did you? Let's have a look. So, uh, so Princess Jewel says gratitude, Ray. Oh, You're welcome. Uh, I had to read. So she said, uh, "Well, I felt I felt that, but I also uh, know I have a lot to work." lot to work on well that's life we've all got stuff to work on that's the point um oh sorry to hear that uh princess but that's obviously char coming out so i can't stop crying so there's obviously the well yeah it's also been angelic energy I, so it, it is and it's also quite often when unconditional love comes in it kind of like it, it does kind of like start bringing up emotions that probably have been high hidden and suppressed for for quite for quite a while. Uh, Kiralani also been on the show. She's also a fellow uh, co-host uh, on the Akashi Academy. Uh, the the uh, Qigong, the Qigong Sifu, uh, Trigong, the Trigong Sifu. Uh, she says so relaxing. Uh, came just in in time for the meditation. You always do that, Kiri. You always <laughs> pop in just at the right time. That's why so, we started uh, later. Indeed, yes, yeah, yes, indeed. Uh, so th that was awesome. Yeah, I'm, I mean, for me, I always uh, tend to see uh, energy. So, mm. so orbs. I saw, uh, I saw the good old per uh, my blue orb. Uh, again, radiating outwards. So, uh, but uh, it, that's very cool, and, and obviously, it's. I, I love that form of meditation because obviously, that you because um, if I've read uh, in your bios as well, you've done hypnosis, so you, mm. you're using the uh, the the uh, self hypnosis uh, techniques, which is always good, you know, to yeah. bring people into that uh, rim state. So, which is also really good. Um, what else is? Uh, let's let's see. What? Oh, oh uh, she, um, Princess says, uh, just saw my dad. Oh, wow. Uh, that's, that's cool. Uh, and then also Sonia says, I have worked with uh, Master Dwarhal. Dwell cool. Dwell cool. Okay, thank you. Uh, since I started Angelic Reiki. Cool. Yep, he's, a, he's another one that uh, came in when uh, Kevin was uh, channeling. Uh, Channel and Angelic Reiki, he's part of it as well. Oh, awesome. That's cool. Uh, our princess, put um, gratitude again uh, to you. Uh, rehyd rehydration right now. Oh, yes. So, drink lots of water. Always, yeah. Always drink your water. Always and and your water. also, um, oh, well, with it, any any of the Reikis, is, is that, you know, you can charge your water, you know, tra mm. charge your food and bless or yeah. charge your food. Um, which is which is originally where where like in Christianity the whole blessing the food yeah. it, it's actually that's where it originates through if you go into uh, Hinduism and, and Buddhism Taoism it's all about you know they, they always charge the food they thanks when they are actually you know whether you're hunter or or you know or you or your gardener and you're vegetarian you eat vegetables they always bless the food they bless yeah. they blessed it from the beginning to the end so from when they pulled it out to the ground all the way to putting it on the plates they blessed it and, th and did thanks so that's always a good thing to do um uh, she calls me teach so, oh, so she says teach spo spoils us 
Uh, so I had to uh, uh, ask. It was amazing. Cool. Oh, well, thank you very all... much. Oh, don't, don't, uh, no. It, 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 that's what I like. I like people <laughs> asking questions. I like uh, um, putting the guest on the spot and putting me on the spot. I like being put on the spot. Yeah. Um, so it's all good. Uh, and then what else? She also said Wu Chi. Now, Wu Chi is, is part of my stuff. I'm, I actually do a thing called Dragon Dog Reiki, uh -huh. uh, which is uh, different, you know, well, the universe is full of different energies. And that's the whole point. And Reiki just yeah. means universal energy. Okay, that's exactly. its actual name. So Wu Chi, and Wu Chi is a circle. And the circle is a sphere. And the sphere is, is all energy. It's part of the sacred geometry. Um, but that's all good. So, and then finally, uh, Princess also put that was really amazing race. So, yeah, it was. It was really, really cool. Thank you so much. Um, right. So, is the is there anything else that you know you want to add to add to this this show? Is there anything else you want to sort of um, before we wrap up? Before we wrap up, no. It, I I I think that you you know with with shows like this that, that are taking place, you know, when I think back to 2000 when the Angels first came in and there wasn't a lot of stuff, there, there wasn't a lot of, well, obviously the internet was completely different then anyway, but there wasn't a lot of stuff around. And now there is so much out there that it's absolutely brilliant that all this stuff, you know, the universe, the Angels, Galactic Masters, everybody now is just working so much for us to bring our vibration up for more people to get into unconditional love and and everything and it's a case of you know anyone that's that's watching this you know good taste um but obviously you know just look at what's out there and go with what resonates the most yeah you know again with um angelic crakey you know i teach it but there's those others that teach it but, you know, if you don't resonate with one person who teaches it, then go to somebody else. Yeah. You know, that, that's the whole that's the whole thing. But, yeah, I, I think sometimes people get stuck that I have to go and see a particular person, mm. where there's so many people out there that you can pick and choose now. I, I think that's, you know, for, for, for me, that's very zen, and that's very what, what we call like the old way of teaching, which is, you know, a master – you know, you stick with that person no matter what, what, and, you know, it's that one style and you have to stick to one style. But really Dow, you know, the whole point of the Dow is that, you know, everything, everything's blended. And, and you yeah. know, this is why I call myself a Sifu, not a master, because a Sifu is your guide and everything is your Sifu. And, you know, if, if you want, you know, if you learn stuff from me, good. If it's time to move on to somebody else, that's also good. I, I have exactly. no problem with that. Um, now, uh, Russ Anderson, he's a great, now he also works with Angelic Energy, but he's also actually a Qigong master. So, hey, brother, hope you're well. Love to see you, love to see you on here. I've got to get you on the show again. We've got to do <laughs> the show as well. So it'd be great to have you on. Um, Sonia also put, uh, Fab, thank you both. Thank you. Uh, Pr Princess, Princess is loving the show. She's in gratitude. Oh, yeah. Again. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you. So, um, yeah, so, uh, well, I mean, this has been really, really cool. Thank you so much. Um, how, if somebody wants to find you, oh, oh there's, I'll just very quickly, uh, brothers, blow me kisses. Stop blowing me kisses, bro. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Back. Oh, you're, oh, actually, are you blowing them, to love. blowing them to Ray? It's all love. It's all love. I'm <laughs> love, baby. Yeah, baby. So if somebody wants to find you, uh, Ray, how do they do that? Uh, well, obviously on Facebook, um, you can connect with me. Um, I have a Facebook page, Radiant Angel Energy, and I also have my website, www.radiantangelenergy.co.uk. Um, and on the Facebook and on YouTube, which again is Radiant Angel Energy, once a week I actually do a weekly angel card reading um, that, that I post up. For the for the week if somebody wants to uh find that and obviously on my facebook page and on my website i i put on there all the um events like meditation events that i run um if i'm doing if i'm teaching angelic crakey they they go on there as well if i'm exhibiting anywhere um they go on there as well so yeah facebook radiant angel energy um or my website 
Cool. Um, and what what Ray will do, I've sent you the link to to, mm -hmm. to this one. So what you do, if you can actually put your web your yeah. website and your group on the comments below. So for anybody who want, wants to join that, you know, you can find it there because because we didn't actually get time to put it up. So I can no. really put it up on the screen. So we didn't get time to do that. Yeah, that's uh, fine. I can do that. Yeah. So uh, yes, yeah, cool. So if you can put them up on there, um, is there anything else like you know you'd like to say or or do before we before we wrap up this show? No, I think that's possibly all there is for the moment. Um, who who knows what will, will happen in the future? If I come on again, or you oh. come on my show when I do it, or whatever, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Oh, oh well, I would love to come on your show, and I would love to have you back back again. You know, and uh, and and do whatever. You know, may, maybe maybe do a maybe do a, a you know a, 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 another show like this in the future on meditation. So yeah, that'd be cool, um, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, Russ is uh, my my brother. Russ is laughing. He whatever I've said. <laughs> that will be kisses, I face. Yeah, so it's all good. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. Um, so what we'll do, I'll just bring up that wonderful picture. And then, so I say thank you. Hope you enjoyed it so much. Um, there is another show on Sunday. Uh, and that will be uh, with uh, Krista, uh, who does uh, a, sh a show called uh, Sink and Krista on Akashic Academy. Uh, uh, if you, like I say, um, when we've finished, uh, Ray will put her websites um, on, on here, on the links below. If you're interested in my stuff, uh, if you look up Sifu Boggy, S-I-F-U-B-O-G-G-I-E, and then um, Shun, which is S-H-U-N, Shun Dao Mystery School, that is my group the free group on what i do and if you're interested in classes of drango reiki and or in qigong so learning to heal yourself or also learning uh with the drango reiki learning how to um supercharge yourself uh open up to your own spiritual abilities and also ensuring that you never burn out then let message me let me know and i'll send you the details to those classes of courses so until next time uh thank you so much ray i love the show You're welcome. There. Thank you. don't, don't disappear just quite yet i won't go yet okay so and then but to everybody else uh take care it's goodbye from the lovely ray goodbye from myself see boggy and it's goodbye from the way of conscious mindfulness take care guys see you on sunday bye bye bye